setting up the tank. Test the tank. First, always fill your aquarium with a hose in a place that it can get wet to make sure it doesn't leak. If there's a small leak, you can use silicone caulk, which you can buy at any hardware store. Apply background. I find the cheapest and longest lasting background is to paint the back or side of the tank with a latex spray paint. Just go to your local hardware store and get some tape and paint. Protect with newspapers the areas that you don't want painted and do it yourself. Use light coats of paint so it doesn't run. It is easy, cheap and should come out just fine. Make sure you paint before you put the tank where it is going to go. For once you get the tank up and running, you won't be able to reach where you need to paint. Level the stand. You can't overbuild the stand. If you have way more support than you need, then you have enough. Whether you buy or build your stand, here are some things to make sure you have. If using a wood stand, measure the overflows and make a hole with enough clearance to get a wrench to the overflow holes underneath. Be more concerned with the edges of the stand as this is where your weight will go. So when you cut, cut as much towards the inside of the tank stand as you can. Some people like to put a piece of foam under the tank, but I personally don't like to do so because if the tank is not level, it will put more stress on the stand. If you do use foam, make sure that it is a one inch piece that fits perfectly between the stand and the tank. The tank should be level on all four sides and diagonally. Make sure the stand is level before you put the tank on the stand. Don't think you can level the stand better with the tank on because it will only be more of a headache with the extra weight.